All right, fellow Code Warriors, this is another drill session brought to you by Bout Education. Um, in this drill, what we're going to look at is installing Node.js onto your Windows system. Um, in general, there's two ways to install Node onto Windows. The first is probably the most simplest and the fastest way to um, get Node up and running, which is to just use the installer provided by Node.js. Um, but we're going to also look at an alternate way, the second way of installing Node.js using the Node version manager, which was actually developed by the community, which is a more flexible way of installing Node because you have the ability to install multiple versions of Node and then, you know, switch them out ad hoc whenever you need to. So we'll be taking a look at that uh, towards the end of the video. So the first portion, our first goal of this would be, we have the simple Node.js Hello World app here. And we want to get this running on the system. As you can see, this is like a very simple application. It just logs this text right here. Um, and in order to run it, we need Node. But as you can see in, com in the command line, when I run Node, it's not recognized because Node is not installed on this system. So how do we get Node on the system? The first approach to use the Node installer provided by Node.js. So you go to navigate to nodejs.org. It provides you um, basically these two different versions of Node that you can install. Um, as you can see, it just detected I'm a Windows and it automatically you know, suggests to use the installer. Um, but the question here is, which version should I actually install? Um, in order to answer that question, we have to take a look at the long-term support schedule and what that actually means. All right, taking a look at the release calendar provided by Node, we see here on the left-hand side the major Node versions and the corresponding release status. So for Node 14, for example, today's date is March 26. It is in the active status. So it went through six months of current status. It went through an active state of, you know, critical bug fixes and, you know, giving library authors a time um, for their library to support the new version. Um, and 14 is in more of a stable state. Node 15 here, as you can see, is more earlier in its um, life cycle, which is in the current status, which means, you know, the Node.js team is still looking for bugs, actively trying to fix, you know, the critical bugs to get it into a very stable state. And also, the library authors are still, you know, in the process of supporting the new version. So in general, the question of, you know, should you use the LTS or current, I personally like using the LTS um, as Node.js recommends here. It's recommended for most users because it just had, it just had more time to be stable. So I will install the Node 14 version. But, you know, that doesn't mean you can't install 15. If you need the newest and greatest features, you know, might as well just install the newest version. But I will install version 14 here. Download the installer and then basically just run it if it's going to run there we go so we hit the next button next step um, you can just leave this path, default path here uh, we're going to just leave everything here um, we want to add the node environment variable um, into uh, the environment variable uh, just generally Keep that unchecked and then install. So now Node is being installed in your system. And now once this is complete, you have Node on your Windows system. It's as easy as that. So now let's verify that Node actually exists on the system. So if we open up our command prompt and we print out the version, as you can see, 14.16.0 has been installed. Now we can navigate to our application that we had, the Hello World application, and then basically run the script by providing the script path. So here we go, Node.js, Hello World, from Bout Education, installed Node. Good to go. So what happens under the hood um, when the installer actually runs? So we gave the default path, the installation path, which is right here, the program files, Node.js. And this ex executable right here, this is what is run. This executable is actually what's run when we enter this command right here. And how the system knows is because of the environment variables we set. When we look at the environment variable and open up the path, 
you see here, Node.js, the default installation path has been added to your environment variable. What this means is whenever, um, you know, in the command line you're trying to enter a command, it's able to find this executable because the names actually match. So that's the installer way of installing Node.js. All right, so we just looked at how to install Node.js using the installer. But one of the drawbacks of using the installer is the fact that you're stuck to a single version of Node. This is generally fine if you're working on a project and you can just stick to a single version. But what if later down the line, your boss or either your client requires that you work in a different version? What you need to do is then uninstall and install the correct version whenever you need to work on it. Then if you want to revert back to your original project, you have to uninstall and install. Or you have to do something crazy like download all the versions, manually copy paste the folders correctly every time you have to switch versions. It, you know, it just quickly becomes a maintenance nightmare. So in order to solve this problem, the Node Version Manager, shorthand NVM, was actually born. So it was first developed in Unix, but now we have implementations in Windows, which makes life so much easier. So this is actually my personal preferred method of installing Node. And let's take a look at the GitHub of the actual NVM windows. So here, the author, Corey Butler, he created this, you know, awesome piece of software, um, which he states here, you know, this is not the original NVM in Unix. It's a separate project. They're not related, but, and they're in different philosophy, but they actually achieved the same goal of, you know, making it easier um, to maintain two different or three or many different versions of Node on a single system. So let's actually get started and install this. As you can see, there's a download now link here. Click on that. Uh, there's the different versions. I'll click on the setup.zip. Once that's completed download, we'll just open it up and then we'll just run the installer. Yes. I accept the agreement and then we can just leave the path as is. But let me just change this because I want to keep it in the C drive. So let me just create a folder here. You can probably keep it as default if you guys need to, but I just like to have it on the root. Um, we'll just leave that as is. So that is the actual um, directory um, where Node.js, your active Node.js lives. And go ahead and install it. Finish. So now, let me open up our command prompt. Node is not actually installed, but NVM is actually installed now. And here's the documentation, or here's the help menu for NVM. As you can see here, it provides a bunch of different commands. NVM list, for example, gives you the list of Node.js installation that it has. Um, right now, there isn't a single one because we didn't install any node. So let's go ahead and install using this command right here, the nvm install command. Let's install whatever version we want to. Um, the previous one, we installed 16, so let me just fix the same one. nvm install 14.16.0. Now it's going to download um, the files and then it's going to install it into our system and I'll go over exactly what is going on here just so we have a clear picture works so when we navigate to the node versions folder this is where NVM keeps all of its download and keeps a lot of the files that it needs as you can see 14.16.0 is here because that's what we're installing and it's, and it's just installing a lot of the files here it's going to take a little bit of time and there we go, installation complete. Now, if you want to use this version, type nvm use 14.16.0. So by default, Node is still not installed. The reason why Node is not installed at this point is because there is no Node.js folder here. There's nothing, there's nothing that the environment variables point to the program files, but it can't find any Node here. So when we use, when we explicitly use and set it, 
Now we're using node 14.16.0. NVM list again. We see that this star indicates what the active um, node version that we're currently using is. We see it's 14.16.0. Now, if we actually look at our programs file where the node.js um, folder lives, we see this link is created, well, this folder is created. What is this? So we click into it, and now we have a bunch of, of files here. And here is indeed the node executable. Now, in, in the command line, we see that node gets picked up and it's actually running it. So what is this folder that's created? So this is actually a sim link that actually points to the node versions that we have here. So it's literally just pointing to this folder in here. And this node executable is what actually gets run. Now let's try to install another version. So let's go to node.js.org. And if you go to other downloads, oh, so here's a way to check on all the different older versions of Node. Here, if you look at the previous releases, it gives you a whole list of all the different versions. So, you know, we, we installed this, but you can go ahead, ahead and install any of these versions on the left-hand side here. Let's say I have a client that needs me to use 13. So I'm going to install that specific version and NVM is going to download the files and install it in the system. If we actually look at the node versions, this is where, again, NVM keeps all of, all of the files. We see that 13.14.0 actually exists now because of actually downloading it and installing it. Once that is complete, um, once we do an NVM list, we should see both versions that are available. Okay, so it looks like everything is done. NVM use 13.4, NVM, sorry, NVM list, and let's double check. All right, see, we have two different versions here, but this is currently the active version. In order to change that, we need to use the NVM use command. NVM use 13.14.0. Now we're using node 13.14.0. If you do a node version, you see it's at the correct version. So what happens underneath the hood here is the program files, this sim link is now updated to point to the correct folder. Let me just show you an example. Whenever you use NVM use, that sim link is updated to mirror or to route to the correct um, folder path. So right now this Node.js is pointing to 13 0.14.0 and how do we know that when we double click this you see this executable is version 13 which basically is this right here that's pretty much it thank you guys all for listening to this drill um i hope you know this gives you a better idea of how to install node and it's just a little bit more clear nothing beat like i said nothing beats repetition right so go ahead and play feel free to play with this uh, tool this mvm tool uh, that's it. That concludes this video. You know, please like and comment on this video and let me know what you guys think or if I missed anything um, so that we can maybe cover them in the future. Because, you know, I'm always listening. I'm always listening to the comments and stuff. And also, please subscribe to this channel because this it really helps um, continue to pump out more instructional videos. Because, you know, I, I'm here to empower you guys um, to take on the most challenging programming flows out there or whatnot. So... Yeah, it helps a lot. So appreciate it. Um, drill time is over. Program. Program on.